We are at a college party, and they've been watching some of my cop parables. And Ray says, you know, I think Stone Cold melt. And so Dr. Mary has a point about the cops. You know, if one pulls you over, you're going 30 miles over the speed limit. You may not like the guy. You may think it. Uh, you might have singled you out. But, yeah, he's doing his job. But uh, if you call up or talk to in person, a corrupt California cowardly cop, they're either going to, one, uh, reveal that they're not. They're just uh, honest law enforcement personnel. You ask him about the man who's been asking for flight 93 checks for nine years, and they're either going to do that or they're going to reveal their corrupt cowardly nature. Hey, tomorrow's Sunday. Why don't we call up a couple of Mormon temples and churches, and let's also call up uh, the cops, talk to them in person, say we've been trying to reach this man by phone. He's been asking for flight 93 checks for nine years. What uh, do you know about that? And let them reveal their true nature. Has just called one of his California cowardly cop princess is in. Leah. And she is mad as hell. She says, I, if it's about that bitch and son of a bitch, they're liars. They're damn liars. And uh, James says, no, this isn't about Father O'Malley and Sister Joan. Uh, they saw her uh, swerving back and forth in the p patrol car and lost a complaint. And so she had to go take the piss test, and she didn't have to take the piss test because they got uh, all of California's corrupt college cops have those folks to take those things for them because so their drug and alcohol problems won't show up. And uh, James says, no, it's not about that. Uh, it appears from the results of your test you have testicular cancer. Uh, yeah, uh, they had the guy go take the test for it. Uh, Tony's talking to some other California corrupt cowardly cops and he's telling them that what well, Tanya I had to keep reminding the church princess oh excuse me cop princess I had to keep reminding her that they're usually assigned to Mormons this isn't the back of the evidence locker this isn't the back of the evidence locker he had they had responded to a, a bank robbery call and they d took down the information they, and uh but Tanya wanted to see the uh, bank vault and went in there and she, yeah, she was uh, one for you and one for me. Like when they process a drug bust and they're cataloging the evidence. One for you, one for me. And I had to keep her mind. You can't do that. But you know where my funny fixing ends. When you pick up your phone and see your child's life, I'm not allowed to work. When you call me, 424-229-4140. Put the facts on the backs of these files. California's corrupt. Call the cops. Ask them their part in that. Ralph and Tony are two cops, and Ralph says to Tony, I can't believe they're letting you pick your next partner. How's the, uh, the search going? And Tony says, well, Mitch is out. I did the Stone Cold test. I showed him one of Melton's latest cop parables, you know, about corrupt California cowardly cops, and he just flew off the handle yelling and screaming, that son of a bitch with a Christ complex. Yeah, he's out. I, I, if you get worked up over a funny story, I sure don't want you around me when the bullets are flying. I'm out and so caught to me. And yeah, I was the same way about the disciples. Back in the day, I'd give them tests, see if they lost their temper, took somebody's ear off or something. If not, hey, we'll talk. I am Melt and son of a carpenter Mary, dad of carpenter, worked on skyscrapers by Mary Ann. I'm a son of a carpenter Mary, I get to make parables. And I get to uh, design beautiful imagery of truth. Uh, me alone in those changing eyes. In my imagery, the 19th as plus you're going to find at ChristComplexLinks.blogspot.com. That's the Great Wall of Evil, and they're going stone cold crazy taunting with high-tech toys as always because you can't reach me 
by phone. You don't know when else your family's lifeline won't be allowed to work. It's yes, it's those who place someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world. Right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. They're going to stone cold crazy, taunting the TBS app, but works on the phone, casts to the to the TV, then all of a sudden today it doesn't. Uh, it's bizarre stuff. Remember to call up California's crooked cops and ask them what's their part in that. They don't know what a Flight 93 check is. They're involved. They're incompetent. Your tourists aren't safe here. Don't send them. The maid thought the room was unoccupied. She's embarrassed. She's a little shocked. It's a foreign... Muslim guy from Saudi Arabia and it's Warren the head of a uh, ca corrupt California law enforcement agency that shall remain nameless you can google and Warren says it's not what you think the you know, other both naked I'm just kissing his ass and they sure are here in Teague Terrace remember to write on the backs of these pipes you can download at any of these sites Vote-truth.blogspot.com for one. Price complex links. Blogspot.com for another. Put the numbers of corrupt California cops to a man to a woman. On the backs of these fives, ask him, what do you know about John Milton Bray not getting one flight 93 check in nine years of asking your active participation in America's hijacked lifelines? What do you know about that? The sergeant goes in to see Warren, leader of a corrupt California cowardly cop agency, and says uh, we've got uh, concerned citizens from all across America calling to ask are the Muslims safe in California what is their angry tendencies that the cops are not addressing and uh, Warren says oh the stone cold melt and the melting thing and, oh yeah they've been trying to call him for years and yes the police agencies pass the buck to the feds it's not their uh, jurisdiction, but the safety of the citizens is. And when they see a man who looks very Muslim beating on a handicapped man's door and threatening him, they would like to know if their tourists are safe out here. Check and post and five put the numbers of California's corrupt cowardly cops. I haven't received a flight 93 chicken 90 years of asking. Ask them about it. See a corrupt California cowardly cop, uh, a leader of one, in this work of fiction. Is talking to a Jerry, the California cop rapist. And he's saying, Jerry, if you'd only just come to my church instead of the Latter day Sinners, the Mormons, you wouldn't feel the need to do that carousing. You could meet some nice girls. Do a little date, maybe settle down. Sooner or later, a Jerry the street cops, the unseen business cops from other states are going to come in here and drag your ass back to their neck of the woods for justice. I'm Mel, son of a carpenter, Mary. That's my work of fixing put the backs, on the backs of fives. All California corrupt cowardly cops numbers. Check and post a five with them via speakerphone. Not one in nine years. Flight 93 check. Check and post a five. Hear a siren? In my funny Tommy parable. Hear a siren? Call up. Put their numbers on the backs of every five you can get your hands on, every five you can print out. Call up California's Crooked Cops to find out why they are active parts in your family's hijack lifeline. You can document that. You can get video proof of it with a Flight 93 check and post call right now. 424-229-4140. Make that video. Post that video. Every time you hear a good siren in your neck of the woods, call up California's Crooked Cops and ask them why you are such an active part in my family's hijack lifelines. I don't care what the Hussein placing, the Trump placing news is covering that it doesn't rate as far as my child's lifeline not working. But I want to know what your personal part is. Uh, in my funny Tommy parable, take your lips off Tommy's ass. Leah and Lacey, two corrupt California cowardly cop princesses, are at a bar. They're doing one of those, uh, they're watching one of those all male dance reviews, and they've had a few. And as the the waiter, the 
guy serving the drinks comes over there's a funny sound and uh, Alea reaches down turns off her radio says you have to excuse me and then she burps we uh, we got a couple more hours before we were off duty I tell that bartender not to water down the next round remember to uh, as they do some wolf whistles, wolf whistles remember to put the corrupt California Coyote cops numbers on the backs of these five checking post and five ask them what do you know about Melton not getting one flight 93 check in nine years of asking what's your part in that very seriously asked him that James the leader of the corrupt cowardly California cops is talking with Jerry the corrupt California cowardly rapist cop and he says Jerry if you just come to like my church or one of the other real churches other than the Mormons we feel you wouldn't need to do that uh, carousing he means raping Check and post a five in front of all corrupt California cowardly cops who are letting the Mormons and the Muslims and the Chinese run wild to the point they're taunting. TBS app will not post cast to, from the phone to the uh, TV. I want to watch the games tomorrow. They're taunting. I've uninstalled the TBS app and it's still not working to reinstall it. They're being that obvious, and Jerry the Rapist will have a, a spotlight put on him. That Mormon rapist will have a spotlight put on him. Promise. So Charlie has actually taken a Jerry the Rapist, California cowardly corrupt cop, has actually taken him to his church. And he says, if you would just transfer to this church... I'm sure you wouldn't be out a uh, carousing. That means using his authority as a cop to uh, get away with rape. I'm sure you wouldn't do it. Can you just try to uh, transfer over to my church, uh, Jerry? Yeah, the Mormons are Jerry's church, and uh, they're putting on a little party out at the street tonight. So uh, we get more California corrupt cowardly cops. Check and post if I put the numbers on the backs of these fives and ask him what do you know about John Melton Brady not getting one flight 93 check in nine years of asking. Post. Vince are two street cops and Vince says to Red, hey, Stone Cold's got another one out. Another parable. Corrupt cowardly California cop, uh, princesses. And uh, Red says, another one? Why is he making so many of them today? And Vince says, well, he's doing the job of his disciples. He wants to get 12. We, as corrupt California cowardly cops, are in the way of him doing his real work, building Jesus' immaculate house here on earth. Tear down the great wall of evil that has just me and all my imagery. Let's get started on those thousand points of life. And because, well, we're doing that with all those impersonators that California corrupt cops are with, the more dangerous of those in California and across the country come in to take pot shots at him like the Kevin Bio Warfare conducted in Eagle Rock last night. So, uh, yeah, he's got, uh, oh, I got more than uh, six more to go. I need a lot more disciples nowadays. Rebecca is preparing to send out a whole bunch of Mormon Latter day Center church princess missionaries. And she Tells them all, keep your eyes open, ladies. And you see one you like, even if he doesn't, you know, go for the sales pitch with the Larry Day Center cartoon Bible. You let us know, and we'll send the guys out there. You know, the uh, the specially organized team. And Rebecca promises by the time. They get them back to Utah and per perform that uh, brainwashing technique. You'll have yourself a husband. So keep your eyes open. I'm melting some cock man. Mormons have been going hog wild crazy lately. So uh, in honor of their hatred noise from down below, here you go. Warren, head of uh, one of the California corrupt cowardly cops, is talking with Jerry the cop rapist. Now this is one of my, yeah, the cop rapists don't get caught. 
one of my fictional attention getting parables get you to write every cop in California's numbers on the backs of these fives you can find at all of these sites including vote-truth.blogspot.com the corrupt cowardly cops when conjunction with their Muslim folks on hand here antique terrorists at Eagle Rock conducting hatred toy, uh, techniques that involved a man beating on the door and threatening me after I told the management Vanaya about it uh, she told him to come up I guess and beat on the door check in post in five and yes Warren is telling Jerry maybe if you weren't a Mormon come over to our church you won't feel the need to do a little carousing there's a cop in California he's just knocked on a door and Martha says oh you won't believe it the yelling screaming it sounds like they're shooting up a gun over there and uh, yeah loud music all that kind of stuff uh, parking across my driveway uh, yeah Adam's gonna go check on things but he knows how it's gonna end and uh, it's the reason there's so much turnover in Lacey's corrupt cowardly cow church uh, princess he works with the Mormons there's a reason there's so much turnover they're gonna side with the uh, yeah the corrupt cop that's one thing when it's something minor like disturbing the peace, but when it's something else like uh, stealing America's peace of mind by active participation in America's hijacked lifelines, check and post a five via speakerphone with every cow cop there is in California. 424-229-4140. Here is Siren. Call of California's cowardly cops conducting actively again harassment techniques of me, John Melton Brady. Here in Eagle Rock in London, Los Angeles, call them up and ask him, why are you active in my family's lifeline being hijacked? And you try to call me via speakerphone or in person in front of them. And you ask them, what is your personal part in this? If they don't know what a flight 93 check is, tell them to go to ChristComplexLinks.blogspot.com and see for themselves nine years of me asking America to check their lifeline. Tell them after they've done that, are you involved or are you incompetent? And knowing your profession. And then you expose, you make that video. They don't know what the hell they're doing in California. They're either active or they're incompetent. Come see me person. Leah and Lacey, two California cop princesses, are at a restaurant on their lunch hour and Leah says to Lacey, look, it's that famous celebrity. And Lacey says, well, why don't you go over and flirt with him? And Lacey says, I can't with these, this thing on. I swear it takes off two cup sizes. Hold him here, make sure he doesn't go anywhere as I go in and, and take it off. She goes into the restroom and Lacey goes outside and shoots a hole in the, the Mercedes. He figures that's got to be his uh, tire. She's going to keep her around. So she can uh, bat those eyelashes at that celebrity. I'm Melton, and yes, uh, humor is fun. But California's corrupt, cowardly cops taking part in America's Isaac Lifelines isn't. Put their numbers on the backs of fives and check and post in five. With them via speakerphone or in person. Well, you know about me not reaching Melton, not knowing when else my phone won't be allowed to work. Alea and Lacey, two California corrupt, cowardly cops princesses are in their squad car and they're watching a couple of kids go down the street on one bike one's up on the handlebars he's look they're both looking in each garage and carport and driveways they go past and Leia says what what do you think they're up to and Lacey says well who cares who we'll let the real cops handle it we're church princesses and then they see these two Mormons coming down the street and Alea goes, hey guys, uh, they go over to say hello, they're running cover for them, and yeah, Jared had just found a brand new laptop, just laying by the side of the road, yeah, as they case neighborhoods, expose dirty cops with the Mormons, put the numbers on the backs of fives, I've been asking for flight 93 checks for nine years, guys, I have yet to get one, call up every cop to a man to a woman in California, ask him what your part in that. A Warren, the head of the state troopers, calls Joe in and he asks him about the two new hires 
Leia and Lacey. And uh, uh, Joe says, well, they're kind of worried about breaking a nail, if you know what I mean. And uh, Warren says, oh, no problem. We've got plenty of those uh, pod people, the Latter day Sinners, doing that street stuff, extra parts in America's hijacked lifelines. I would just assign them to them. They'll get along well with the, uh, the cop princesses, we'll get along well with the church princesses. Yeah, often they're with impersonators of yours truly telling you about our hijacked lifelines. We, America, deserves good public employees. Call them up in California. Well, you know about John Milton Bray asking for Flight 93 checks for over nine years and not getting one. Especially if you get a, a cop princess, uh, male or female. What do you know about this? Put the numbers on the pops, call them. If they don't know, they're involved or they're incompetent. We are at a college party and they're talking about macabre parables after watching a, a few of them. And Ray says, you know, I think he hit the nail on the head with that about the cops. If you're going 30 miles over the speed limit and one pulls you over, you may not like him, but uh, yeah, you figure he's doing his job. But when you ask uh, one about John Melton Brady asking for Flight 93 checks for nine years and not getting one, they're either going to be truthful law enforcement officers or they are going to reveal their corrupt and cowardly nature. Hey, tomorrow Sunday, why don't we call up a couple of those uh, Mormon temples or churches and ask them how they reach Milton by phone and Let's call up the cops. Ask them as well. What do you know about this man not getting one flight 93 check?